Hi, betting experts. On Monday, the 22nd of February, first of all, a look back at our two bets on Super Sunday at Newbury. We move on to Super Carlisle on Monday. Heavy ground, soft in places on the hurdle course. The weather forecast looks a lot better. It's certainly mild and sunny in the south at the moment. The forecast really spring-like for the week ahead, so hopefully things will start to improve up north too. They've had a lot of missed meetings there in the last month. Some horses have been needing the run badly uh, from certain stables. Hopefully we've avoided those ones this afternoon. We start off with our value angle selection in the 135. This is the Mansion Bets, proud to sponsor British Racing Handicap Chase. Two mile four, class four, five-year-olds and upwards. £4,289 on offer to the winner. Eight runners. It's a quite competitive race for the grade. The one I like is Rebecca Menz's Scottish accent. Now this one has been running really well in defeat since going over fences this winter starting off um, with a creditable fourth um, over hurdles at this track over three miles when he got tired but he showed that he handled these conditions and he's run really well at Sedgefield, Newcastle and last time at Musselburgh um, if you watch his latest run there was a plot in the race far away who was part of that infamous coup uh, and uh, Scottish accent was up on too strong a pace throughout pressing Sunny Express and both of them were legless some way out, he'll do a lot better uh, under a more patient ride, Nathan Moskrov takes off a handy three pounds this two mile four should be ideal because he stays further and this really does look his best chance to get it off the mark under rules at the 10th attempt for our nap of the day we go to the one o'clock this is the mansion bet at carlisle novice hurdle um, a two mile three class four for four year olds and upwards three thousand seven hundred and sixty nine pounds to the winner a nine runner field i'm going to stick with the carlisle form of ulverston now genie candlish had a brilliant winter so far our horses have been landing gamble after gamble and this one is already proven over this course and distance he's a thorough stayer he's run well twice since under the penalty behind useful rivals at carlisle and at doncaster his latest third behind sometimes always is very strong form the front three there nine lengths clear of the rest um, the winner sometimes always is a useful performer and major dundee who finished second is going to develop into being a very nice handicapper and a chaser in time alveston been off for 55 days but that shouldn't be too much of an issue candish's horses continue to run well and i think he can defy a penalty back at carlisle where he goes so well best of luck on monday betting experts